we're going to check this one out. This is called um, Iron Helix. So this is an interesting one. I actually had this game when I was a kid, but I was too scared to play it. Um, basically, we pilot a little drone around a derelict spaceship, and we have to collect like DNA samples and the for the um, door locks. All the while, we're being chased by another bigger, scarier drone. Um, okay, prepare yourself for the most stunning 3D action adventure game ever created. Iron Helix is a science fiction thriller that immerses you in a fast-paced virtual reality filled with danger and intrigue. Control a robot probe whose mission is to stop a renegade starship on an automated course of destruction. Prevent intergalactic war and the spread of a deadly virus by destroying the Doomsday Weapon, codenamed Iron Helix. Navigate through dozens of corridors and rooms, search for a way to stop the looming annihilation while eluding the ship's deadly defender robot. Okay, yeah, so it's like a... I do like this though. No click and wait. Iron Helix takes full advantage of the CD-ROM and blazes a new trail for interactive virtual media. There is no click and wait in this game. There are no excuses due to low times and delays. All you have to worry about is staying alive. It's It's got a fast arcade game pace. Anyway, let's let's just pull it up and have a look, shall we? No, we want window capture. Display capture is what we want. Collect the jizz off the walls for door locks. That's, that's kind of pretty much it. Um, hang on, get to capture him. Yeah, Pac-Man with more jizz, that's basically the game. <laughs> but, no, what, what's interesting about this game is, like, they always say System Shock was touted as the, um, the sort of game where you're running around a spaceship collecting audio logs to figure out what happened to people in the ship. This game actually did it first. This came out a year before Somewhere System Shock. In the future. Mighty fleet bears down upon a desolate planet, a practice target in a war game simulation. And this was a very early FMV game, so you're going to see that the FMVs are quite small. The fleet for the war on the disc. A computer malfunction reprograms one of the ships for a real target. Okay. Yeah, fuck this part. We gotta smash dick first into this planet. 21 receiving this message. This is Captain William Parrish of the Jeremiah O'Brien. We have lost control of our ship and are currently headed towards one of our programmed targets. It's just kept the Kane with the beard. Known as yeah. <laughs> there is some kind of virus on board. Yeah, also this game came DNA out before Command and Conquer, and so with the disease that seems this to was possibly an inspiration for that. For old um, Joseph Culkin to um, this virus has inhibited do those our FMVs. access to the computers so that we cannot stop the ship ourselves. Maybe that's what he said. Maybe he's like... No, fuck this tiny ass FMB bullshit. I, I want full screen we FMB. Intruders. We are helpless <laughs> to stop it. Our next course of action will be to rig a multitude of self destruct events by bypassing the computer and setting trigger codes for each event. We hope that one of these will be carried out by someone sent to stop the ship. The crew and I have left trigger codes for these events. And messages on various terminals. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. All right, look at this tiny ass fucking menu screen as well. Um. Oh, they even got like Man Congress uh, music. Why don't just blow the ship up yourself while you're there, guys? Of course, yeah. No, apparently that's what it was. They were locked out by the security drone that's floating around. So no one could access them. Yeah, no, this is this has got a very uh, Frank Klopaki vibe. I I am kind of intrigued if you worked on this before Command and Conquer. All right, we'll do a new game then. So look at our giant ass fucking HUD. This is Admiral Arbuck. Your mission now is to send your probe on board. Admiral Arbuck, are you find a the DNA Pokemon? From the crew. Are you the then evolution uh, evolution the of Ekans? 
After that, you must get rid of the defender and use one of the kaboos to stop the ship. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't even want to look at us as we're thinking. Yeah, so we're, we're piloting a remote controlled drone to sort of float around the ship. We we have three drones. We, we apparently have lives like an arcade game. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so I guess we're in. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, so what are our options? Scan, jam, arm, and control. We, we apparently have an arm. Put that up and down. Um, oh, we have a inventory. Good thing our drones can fit through small doors designed for humans. Stroke of luck. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have an inventory. Pre-scan on or off. Reboot. Don't know. Oh, maybe we can like restart if we fucked up or something. Can we use the arrow keys to control? Let's find out. Oh, we can use arrow keys. All right. And so this is apparently... Um, oh. So this is showing us there's like a little DNA thingy here. Um, do we just click on it? Okay. Scan code, non-human DNA specimen. Um, I, I, I think we've got limited inventory space. So I guess we don't pick that up. We also have a limited amount of... I don't know if the power is indicating whether something's scannable close by or what the go is. Um... Access. All right, can't get in there. Like, fair enough. Like, this HUD is massive, but you're at least getting presented with all the information. No video clues recorded. Quit, save, pause. Okay, let's, um... Oh, apparently there is, um... Material here. Okay, there's one on this wall as well. All right, we'll scan that. We're getting material present. Just more, more come. Non-human DNA specimen. Okay. So I don't know if we're meant to be picking that. No, apparently we pick up, we got to pick up DNA because that's how, um, what? We apparently go bonk if we like run into a wall by accident. Okay. Okay. We can go up or down. Deck four corridor access. Um, so let's go up. Let's go up to deck three, I suppose. Oh, hang on. Doesn't the X indicate there's a... Yeah, apparently if an X comes up on the map, that's the uh, that's the other drone. Okay. So we can't... Okay, we can go through this bulkhead. Alright. Um, work our way through. Uh, restroom. There's got to be plenty of DNA material in the restroom. Yeah, case in point. There's some to our, um, there's some in front of us. Bonk. Right. Well, it's, oh, it's even on the urinal itself. Uh, this is probably like a stray pube or something. Um, human DNA specimen unidentified. All right. Quiet sample. Sample acquired. Sample stored as... Okay, and yeah, this is a little indicator. So the boys rocked up. We're getting the warning to say he's he's on our ass. Um, let's see if we can avoid him. Alright. Oh, there's more DNA in the lounge. Okay. Um, can we, we've got time for a scan, I guess. Organic material present. Uh, human DNA specimen C. Zizinski, assistant engineer. Okay. Sample acquires. Sample stored in databank. Okay, inventory. Ah, okay, so I, I don't know what the 07 denotes. Oh, he is actually coming at us though, hang on. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, so apparently he's about to come through that door. Alright, so we gotta skedaddle. We gotta skedaddle. Okay, no, that's, a, that's actually a cool little system. Like, okay, we can't go through that door. Can we, like, um, can we use, can we open it with our arm? Uh, no, apparently we, can, we cannot. We do need, uh, I, I can't remember what the arm itself is for. Right. 
And I think he's got line of sight as well, as far as I know. Um. Right, open door. Can, so I'm presumably we can't go through the door either. No, can't go to the science lab. All right. Um, where else can we go from here? Yeah, let's go down this. Let's go up again. Let's do another. Head up here. All right, we've got an elevator. Uh, oh, we got some more cum over here. Let's scan for cum. All right, organic material. Uh, non-human DNA specimen. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I got no idea like what we can ac actually access here. We're gonna figure it out though. All right. So we're on deck one. Oh, we definitely can't go to the bridge. No. Um, no, hang on. Can we go back here, though? What's this? Oh, no. What's this room? Um, oh. Oh, it's just another restroom. Oh, there's got to be DNA in here, though. Surely there's some DNA. Organic material present. Yep. Some germs on the door here. What do we got? Non-human DNA specimen. Okay. Alright, so we can't go the... Very convenient that you've got the toilet, like, right next to the bridge as well. Like, that's, that is, that is appreciative. Yeah, you, you, you had a hard day piloting the ship and you just, yeah, sometimes you need a quick break. Okay, so this is the captain's quarters, right, eh? So, Will, Will Parrish, I think his name was. Okay, we got the bulkhead. What was this room? Prior... Private Curtis, C. Ingram, Curtis Lieutenant Commander. Ingram. All right, can't get in there, but the boy is. Well, let's try that. Let's see what happens if we happen to run into uh, the drone. Oh, we just... Okay. Probe ship has been destroyed by the ship's defender. Okay, two left. Yeah, fair enough. Now, I was hoping... Yeah, some... Uh, I, I guess if you can see it... Um, you'll, you'll get an FMV of it shooting at you. I don't know how... Yeah, I vaguely remember seeing, like, I thought you could see it, like, shooting at you. Yeah, I can't remember. Like I said, I did not care to get far in this game. Like, I like the appeal of it. I love the aesthetic. I was just too scared. Too scared of the big scary X on the map. Okay, so we're back. Oh, did we lose any of... Okay, okay, so we still got, um, thingos. We still got DNA. Okay. So maybe if we've got an engineering... Uh, maybe if we, we can find the engineering deck, that might be an idea. We can actually Access use that, um, thingo. Zero pressure possible structural damage there. Okay. So can't go in there. Couldn't Access go on this one. Denied. No pressure. Okay. Yeah, you, <laughs> you only got 90 minutes to save the world. No pressure, mate. No pressure. All right, well, let's go down this time. Weapon center, I guess. Access. Oh, we flat out just can't go anywhere on this floor because uh, we got to find another way in, I suppose. Okay, okay. Hang on, didn't we go... Yeah, there was... Oh, we went down instead of up, I guess. Can we go to deck three? Okay, so we can go to deck three. Shuttle control. Um, we can go down this one. Oh, we can go up from here. Oh, yeah, boy's on the floor and he's coming our way. Now, hang on, what was in, what was on deck two? Was there anything exciting? Bulkhead, yeah. Okay, auxiliary engineering. We can go in here, apparently. And there's some stuff to scan, going by this. Okay, genetic material. Organic material present. Let's have a look at that. Uh, non-human DNA specimen. Okay. Alright, so how are we gonna juke this guy? Which, which way is he coming from? I guess we can go out this way? Yeah, like, I, I'm no, like, this is the most appealing part of the game, and I can't, I'm not even looking at it, because I've got all my fo attention focused on the map. Okay, so, oh, we got some showers, eh? Hang on, what's in the showers? Any, any DNA in here? There's apparently DNA. Uh, no, we were in here before, weren't we? Yeah, because there was stuff on the urinal. On the old urinal. Yeah, yep. Non-human DNA. Alright, so he's coming back to our... 
Boom. Uh, what was through here? Hang on. Crew quarters. Ah, uh, can't. Hang on, we've. Hang on. Surely we can get in here. We got. We got some fucking. We got some engineering DNA. We can't get into the fucking. Oh, here we go. Hang on, engineering. Oh, hang on. So there's stuff we can access from here. Unable to access. Okay, so there's certain. Oh, okay, okay, and we're we're under the pump because he is like literally on our ass. Okay. Um, what's what's jamming do? Okay, so we can jam. We give him the jams like in space balls. All right, so we got the DNA there. I'll go check over the uh, the right hand side. Yeah, because I want to see where else I can use that arm. Okay, can't go go in there. Maybe try the arm on, on here. Right. <clears throat> All right, command, engineering, navigation, antimatter containment, reaction control, field flux. So what have I got access to though? Command, engineering, local access, loading dock, incinerator. No access to I. Okay, and, and now I'm stuck in this fucking menu. I literally got the boy fucking behind me. No, go through the door. Why is the... Okay, door is stuck apparently. <laughs> I clicked. And we just got shot because we were in line of sight. Okay, okay. Probe has been destroyed. You only have one probe left. 79 minutes till the target is reached. All right, we get it. We're shit at the game. Yeah, just get into it, mate. Get into it. But that is at least helpful, even though you lose life. You've got your... Yeah, you at least keep what you found. All right, so how do we get to... I, I really want to find somewhere where I can... Maybe we could, like, um... Can we do anything with this code? Like, I, I still have no idea what any of these, like, commands do. Local access... Maybe we can access the loading dock? Or maybe we have to access the right thing in the right place? Yeah. Unable to access from this location. Okay. So what... Doesn't seem like we can access much. Navigation? Maybe if we get... Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I've worked that out. Because... Okay, so... Oh, okay. Hang on. Weapons control. Now, I was trying to work out what I can and can't access, which is getting annoying. Um, presumably, if I've got an engineering code, I could play with these. So, what have we got? Antimatter containment, reaction control, field flux, intermix, warp mod, envelope. So, the engineering thing, the DNA is useless to me. Yep. Okay. Still going dunk. All right, deck three. So we we we've been we've done deck two to death, I think. Can we go through this other like access door here? Hang on. Open door. Go down this one. Whoop! Just went past it. Yeah, go down this one, mate. See what we can find this way. Ladder one and two. So we can go up from here. Boys on this floor. Can almost see us. Um, probably can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that was close. Um, maybe it might pay to get off this floor. All right, go down. All right, maybe, no, we'll try one of the elevators and see where we can actually go on the ship. That might be an idea. Because we're just going up and down, like, access floors at this point. All right, open the elevator. Open up the elevator. I don't want to grow up. Okay, so we got six floors. And we access it via the data port. Do we just... Oh, no, we just click that. Okay. So deck three is nothing. Deck four's got something on it. What's deck six? Oh, it's a little bit dark on deck six. Okay. What's loading dock? Um, oh, we got a nice little view of outside. 
Can't go up the ladder. What else is in the loading dock? We have a control room in the loading dock. We've got like a little... Maybe we can access something using the loading dock? Hang on, local access. Couldn't we access the... Yeah, loading dock. Aha! Okay. Supply man manipulation. We have a lifting arm inventory cargo eject. Which we can't access anyway. Okay. Despite having an engineering access. Oh, we have an authorization code to eject cargo. Uh, so I think that's how you do it. Like, once you find all the other stuff, you have to get the robot to chase you in here and then you can eject him out of the cargo bay. Because they did say that was part of the game. You had to, like, um, once you stopped everything else, you had to, like, destroy the, um, the thing out somehow. Okay. Um, what was in here? Dumpster. Found a dumpster. Oh, there's some DNA, though. <laughs> I guess you could say this is a, a cum dumpster. Right, let's scan for cum. What do we got? Uh, human deer with Ensign Garrett. I don't think we're going to be able to do much with the Ensign thing, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's a little disappointing that it doesn't tell you... 07, 08. Maybe that's like the crew designation. Like you get a number or something when you join the crew. No fucking idea. But, oh, that was... Why is the dude like right fucking behind us now? Is he get... Oh, maybe he was like in the access tunnel or something. Maybe that's what was going on. Right, more, more stuff to scan. Right, organic material presence. Non-human DNA, okay. Um, so where else can we go though? Like, can we go up to, what's what's in here? Engineering deck, okay. Oh, we can kind of go down into whatever this is. Oh, there's like a little access ladder here, okay. Which gets you into a, oh, there's like a, not much point jacking into these, because I don't know what half of them fucking do. Alright, we can scam for cum, however. <laughs> Alright, no, I, I think I might have to ne need that in my life. Someone needs to end it. Someone needs to AO generate Jean-Luc Picard going, Computer, scan for cum. Please, internet. I don't ask a lot of you, but please. Um, so we got a security... Oh no, don't, don't pull your arm out. We apparently have a security, uh, passcode now. Uh, T. Semenov, I think his name was. Yeah, it's a shame we can't, like, get any, um, information on these guys. A little disappointing. <laughs> but what was the other thing I was saying? Um... No, I was, I was going to talk about AI generation. Like, um... There's that skit from um, the Tim and Eric movie where Paul Rudd's playing on his computer and he's got like AI dancers doing fun stuff. And he, he talks about, speaks of generating a new detain. Has anyone used AI in this day and age to generate a new detain? I, I, I kind of want to know. Like I don't, I don't know if anyone's asked that question, but I, I'm going to find out. Let's 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 have a look on the interwebs. Um, generate nude ten. Um, I don't know video. Oh no, it's just the actual <laughs> the actual thing. Um, oh, there's a Reddit thing. Is there? Oh, someone has asked the question on um on Reddit. <laughs> and I'll see if I can bring it up. Um, display capture. Is there any way to generate a nude teen? Nude teen. <laughs> Alright, it, it, it's nice that someone's asked the question, at the very least. Like, yeah, that's that's my curiosity peaked. Oh, and we got the boy on us. So can we get, a, like, a glimpse of him? Will he come through? I just want to see him in action. I don't know if he actually, if you can see him, like... 
No. Okay. Once he's on the line of sight, yeah. Okay, that's disappointing. Yeah, I remember that in trailers that like you'd, you'd see him coming at you, but I guess that would like um, take a bit more disc space or something like that. And uh, worst worst game over screen ever. It's just like no, you did shit. That was blown up. Or whatever this planet is. There you go. Okay, we at least get a game over screen. That's nice of them. <laughs> that explosion was worse than the ones you get in fucking, um, the special editions for Star Wars. I am Admiral Arbok. We have just learned that you have failed to stop the Orion. You must proceed immediately to Starbase Amethyst for debriefing. I will handle your interrogation personally. Ooh, that, that sounds kind of fun. So. Especially the debriefing part. But anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time on that. Just wanted to check it out. We're going to leave that there. Yes, fuck you guys. You, you made a shit game. Well done, you. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.